This is Atlanta, Georgia. Home to 2.4 million people, this U.S. city is connected by a network of subway lines, which service 38 stations across three counties. Consisting of four lines and 48 miles of track, the system connects various neighborhoods across Atlanta, with trains running from downtown to the suburbs. But how did the system grow from its original stations to the network it is today? My name's Zach, and this is the evolution of the network. Rail service in Atlanta began in June 1979 with the opening of the East Line. Starting from Georgia State, the route traveled east, servicing six additional stations to Avondale. In December of that year, the line was extended west from Georgia State, with an additional six stations bringing the line to Hightower. Atlanta's second line began operations in December 1981, with the North Line beginning service. Starting from Garnett, the line traveled north to North Avenue, servicing an intermediate station at Civic Center. The new route interchanged with the East-West Line at five points in downtown, allowing passengers to transfer between the two services. In September 1982, an infill station opened on the North Line at Peachtree Center, providing more access into downtown. At the same time, a one-stop extension at the south end of the line brought service to a new station at West End. The North Line was further extended in December of that year, with two new stations opening to Arts Center. December 1984 saw more stations open on the North Line, with a three-station extension from Arts Center to Brookhaven. On the opposite end of the line, two new stations were opened, with service now ending at Lakewood for McPherson. An additional one-stop extension opened on the South Line in August 1986, with a new station opening at East Point. In December 1987, the Northeast Line was extended an additional stop, with service beginning to Chambly. Finally, in June 1988, the South Line was extended by an additional two stations to its present end at airport. In 1992, Omni Station on the West Line was renamed to Omni Dome GWCC, reflecting the nearby Georgia Dome and Georgia World Conference Center. In December of that year, a new branch of the East-West Line opened, with trains branching off from Ashby Station to a new stop at Bankhead. Later that month, the Northeast Line was also extended, with trains now ending at Doraville. June 1993 saw an extension of the East Line to Indian Creek, along with a new station opening at Kensington. In 1995, Brookhaven Station on the Northeast Line was renamed to Brookhaven Oglethorpe, reflecting the nearby presence of Oglethorpe University. In June 1996, a new branch of the North Line opened, with trains branching off from the main line north of Lenberg Center, servicing three new stations to Dunwoody. Hightower Station on the West Line was renamed to Hamilton E. Holmes in 1997, reflecting the name change of Hightower Road. The West Line Station at Omni Dome GWCC was renamed again in 2000, with the station now being referred to as Dome GWCC Phillips Arena CNN Center. In December of that year, a two-stop extension of the North Line also opened, with trains on the route now being extended to North Springs. In December 2006, branches of the East-West and North-South lines were simplified in order to improve wayfinding on the network. On the West Line, the branch to Bankhead was renamed to the Proctor Creek Line, with trains traveling as far east as Edgewood Candler Park. On the North-South Line, trains between Dorville and Airport were referred to as the Northeast-South Line, with North-South Line service continuing between North Springs and Airport. In October 2009, Atlanta adopted a color-based naming system for their lines, replacing the previous directional names for each route. In February 2010, however, the yellow line was renamed to the gold line in response to concerns from the Doraville Asian community. Finally, in 2019, Dome GWCC Phillips Arena CNN Center Station on the green and blue lines was renamed once again, now being referred to simply as GWCC CNN Center. This brings us to the Atlanta rail map that we know today. That was the evolution of Atlanta's rail network, giving us the four lines that we know today. If you haven't already, be sure to watch our evolution of the network videos on other American cities, which you can access by clicking the button in the top right corner. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and comment down below to join in the discussion. My name's Zach, and I'll be Vanishing Underground, until the next one.